Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, your English instructor, Muhammad Asnan, once again with all of you people. Today, with a new episode of our series, Is Reality Real? It is me, Muhammad Asnan, with you people. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about a very psychological and a very important topic. Lots of people have this problem, lots of people have this mental disorder, but they do not know that they have this mental disorder. So let's understand and let's learn about this mental disorder and it's none other than phobia. Well, you guessed it right, I'm also going to talk about phobias. Now for all of you out there that don't know what is a phobia, so let's so what is phobia? What are phobias? Because it isn't one, it is many. So first of all, let me give you a case scenario. Does this happen with you a lot, like often? That, that you're somewhere and you see a random spider or you see a random creature like an insect or a cockroach or a moth for example if you see one of these and you just get paranoid you just get scared from that so scared that you get a panic attack or you just run from that place as away as you can does this happen? Well, it might happen not only for that, it might happen for many things. Like for kids, it can be uh, like darkness, they like are really scared. For some, it might be like small spaces. For some, it might be, there might be multiple different phobias. That so what are the types? I'm going to explain that in the next video. But first of all, let me explain what phobias are. Because I give you a case scenario, not a real phobia. So there are many phobias, like I do not have a very like real phobia, because currently I don't think I have one yet. But it usually uh, you get a phobia between your childhood to your adultness. You get it in between, or you get it from your childhood. And it's usually from one of your family members. Now, I don't know what my phobia is. Yes, some things just make me uneasy, but that's uneasy. I can like sustain that. Like for example, some people are really afraid of snakes and like uh, some people are afraid of spiders. So if I see one, I won't like just like cry like a baby and just like run away. I'll see one, I'll kick it and I'll... But I don't want like a spider crawling on my hand and a big one. I don't want a tarantula walking on my hand. That would be unsettling, but it won't be like that much afraid that I would get like a panic attack or a heart attack from that. So people, like those type of people who are really scared, they are having this problem. Like I feel really uneasy from typophobia. If you don't know what typophobia is, I'm not having this phobia, but I just feel really weird, uncomfortable while having, like seeing those things. I don't get like those panic attacks. I don't get what usually people get. I don't get scared. I just feel not good. I just feel like it's gore type of. So it's a phobia with clusters of small little holes. It is a phobia of small little holes, a cluster of small little holes. Now, for example, you might have seen these pictures on the internet of hands with holes, for example. So those type of hands are example of trypophobia. So I feel uneasy. Now, there are two things, uneasy and really scared. So uneasy is not a phobia. It's just your mind and your heart that is saying, no, it's not good. Like you feel disgusted, you feel bad, you feel sick while watching something and one is getting very scared getting panic attacks and these things so phobia means getting really scared or having problems with many things it can be anything or many things even you can have phobias from two different things three different things even one at a time you can have many phobias or have one at a time but it's very rare to have many but usually people just have one so right now let me explain to you that what do they get after having some phobia. So what is inside a phobia? Inside a phobia you have an extreme fear of something like spiders. So when you see one even from a distance you run away you start to cry and you just like weave around. That happens. That happens like you are you get very scared and lots of the time you get panic attacks you get uh, you feel mental fatigue and you feel mental problems for like time and you have like that picture of the snake coming again and again or if it's a spider snake or anything even a dog even a cat there are phobias and there are people who have 
phobias like that. Like people have phobias of cats that will come and like murder them. Like weird phobias. So if that's any creative, that picture will be coming in your mind and you'll just be like, <sighs> you'll feel like that. You'll feel cold, you'll feel uneasy and very scared with phobias. So that is what a phobia is. So I'll talk to you people in my next episode. So until that episode, thank you so much for being with me and I'm going to explain the types of phobias and many phobias you might have. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.